Hello, everyone. This is Marie Waite, and welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio. Today's guest is a country music artist, Stephen Cade. Stephen Cade received so many Grammy Awards, been on so many national TV shows, and former resident of San Diego that is now living in Nashville. We're going to learn more so much about him, so let's welcome Stephen Cade. Hey, Marie, how are you? Great. How are you doing? I am good. You know, I'm too excited today because I, <laughs> since I've seen you and uh, I remember watching your concert here at the Coronado here in uh, San Diego and you there were so many people and I, I remember your wife was being there too. Yes. Well, you know what? I'm honored to be here with you today. I'm thankful and I'm, I'm excited about uh, what we're about to talk about. So yeah, excited about it. Yeah, there's so many things I want to ask you. Um, first of all, where are you located now? I'm located in Nashville, Tennessee now. We live here. We've been here over two years. So how is it so far? I mean, coming from San Diego, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, it's, uh, you know what, we were just talking about this yesterday uh, at my son's orthodontist appoint appointment and we were saying how it's, uh, the lifestyle is, is quite a bit different because everybody's, everything is a little bit slower pace, especially when you get out of the city. Uh, we live a little bit far, a little bit out of the city, um, mm -hmm. but, uh, but it's, it, you know, people talk a little slower, they talk a little with an accent, you know, and they have and and they drive a little slower and that's okay i'm i'm fine with that actually so it's actually nice it's a it's a a good break from you know having a very busy uh city to where you can just relax and enjoy yeah and 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 we are trying to enjoy our kids as much as possible cuz we know that those days you know they go quickly but at the same time we're enjoying every day of it so yeah wow that's amazing so uh steven i wanted to just uh go back and, and start from the beginning. So if you can tell me where you're from and you know, how did the music start for you? Yeah, thank you for asking. Well, so I, I started in Houston, Texas. I was born and raised there and I used to live about um, a mile or a couple miles from a place called Mickey Gillies. And Mickey Gillies was very um, popular in the 80s. Um, until it burnt down, unfortunately, that was kind of like the big story and no one really knows why, but uh, a lot, like that's where this movie called The Urban Cowboy was filmed uh, with John Travolta. And um, it brought a lot of attention to um, even more so the, the country music scene at that time. And so I already started um, really enjoying a lot of country music like, you know, Charlie Daniels and, and Mel Tillis and uh, Randy Travis, a lot of the people that were you know, some of the 80s and 90s country. Um, I just, I had so many influences back then, but um, I just always loved music overall. I was, I was actually uh, blessed by my parents to have a, a little red accordion when I was only um, three years old and then a drum set. So I already had instruments um, growing up quite a bit, so. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, so, um... So from uh, where you're at and how, how did you get into the uh, Hollywood? Because, you know, I was looking at your accomplishments. I mean, you've got a lot of awards. I mean, there was an award uh, just in um, Grammy Awards. You were nominated yeah. for 2021. And you were also, uh, you also received the uh, Wine Country Music Awards. I mean, yes. you know, this is incredible accomplishments from, you know, starting there. So what, what was the journey for you? What was the most um, memorable way of looking at your entire journey? You know, I've, I've always tried to um, enjoy the journey the, the most I can. And I've always tried to um, say to myself, you know, I, this is, I get one shot at, at doing the best I can every day. And I wake up and I, I, I'm supercharged and um, I, I pray before I get started. Um, and I ask God to please direct my steps. Uh, but a lot of it is just uh, believing, never giving up and persevering and persisting through a, uh, an industry that is, uh, is full of motivated, uh, highly creative um, and very um, successful people. As you know, the entertainment industry uh, is a is a very 
it's a tough industry to be successful in. So you have to really have sort of like veins of steel and and uh, <laughs> and iron skin to to get through it. And I've uh, I've been yes, I have had a considerations for Grammys multiple. Um, there's been about five five songs now that have been considered for for best country song, best country solo performance, uh, best country album. Last time I I lost. Uh, out to people like Eric Church, but I figured, well, you know, he's he's got a lot of success, a lot of fame, and a lot of talent, um, and so, and it's not that it's not it's all it's not for me. It's not all about the awards necessarily. It's more about what I can do with my music, and that's really where I'm at right now with my music. I'm I'm really trying to uh, better humanity, send a positive message, and and utilize my gifts and talents to really help the next one in line more more so. Well, you know, I was uh, also watching your your music uh, videos, and one thing that I was really moved was this song that you did with your wife, um, Kelly. And, yes. and Kelly is a uh, it, she's a fashion model. Am I right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's yes. what she does. And then yeah, um, you know, your your story with your wife was just so inspiring. I mean, how did how did you meet Kelly? I mean, how did it all start for you and Kelly? <laughs> and you know what, you've, you've hit it right on the spot. Kelly is my anchor. She's, uh, you know, I give her all the credit for, <laughs> for everything I am today. We've been married 13 years and I'll, I'll talk more about that hopefully in a bit. But uh, we, we met while she was going to San Diego State University um, and I was playing in the bar as a, with a band basically. <laughs> and uh, it, it just, love, love happened. It was a, it was a moment that you know, it was like uh, two, two, two great compounds on the periodic table coming together to form an amazing, you know, amazing material. So it was great. That is awesome. So, so with this music video that you uh, did with your wife, I mean, you know, you're so talented in writing, but at the same time, I can see a lot of your, um, your feelings and uh, there's a lot more about the love story and, and how you feel about the whole thing. And so how do you, I mean, what can you tell people or what can you share people in terms of your writing and the experience that you have within your family? Well, my, my faith uh, is, is in Jesus Christ. And I have a lot of, um, I, I spend as much time as I can in the word of God. And, in, and if you spend any time in the Bible, you'll notice that the themes throughout the Bible, a lot of them point to the bride and the groom. And so God wanted us to, to be in unity with each other. He didn't want us to be alone. He wanted us to share life with somebody and uh, protect and honor them with, with, uh, with, enough, with, you know, with a lot of just love and, and, and caring. And so I, I really honor my family. Um, I'm so blessed to have them. I, 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 I know a lot of people who never had kids. I know people that don't have, uh, are not married, or maybe they got divorced, unfortunately. Um, and so I cherish it. And I think it's just a, it's a mindset and it's the way you approach anything in life. If you love your car, if you love your house or your, the way you play golf or whatever it is, you're going to respect it and you're going to uh, cherish it and honor it. I just happen to point all of my energy and thought and time into trying to honor my family first and foremost, um, other than God, of course. So I would say, honestly, take, take examples from, from Jesus because he was the ultimate in, in sacrifice. Uh, that's how I'm, I'm able to do it, quite honestly, Maria. Otherwise, <laughs> I would fall apart like an yeah, old oh over gosh. here. <laughs> and so there's a lot of foundation within your faith and how you treasure your family when you... Um, write your songs and 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 I think that is so um so amazing to me because a lot of people when they write I mean they truly had to tap into their hearts in, in in regards to the writing and with yours I was so moved by um the feelings that I got from it because you know you can tell 
how much you really love your wife. And, you know, we all aspire to be loved so much. <laughs> There's songs, we can feel it. And, and it's so incredible. And I, I love that you are able to share that with, uh, with your audience and uh, with Thank you. people that are, uh, I mean, your fans actually. And um, I'm so grateful to be able to, uh, you know, to, to be able to see how you share everything to people um, in regards to how you feel about your family. Anyway, yeah. um, I wanted to um, also mention that you have been featured in so many TV shows. Yeah. Um, uh, Nashville, I think uh, what's going on in Nashville now, because I know from San Diego, you were always on TV shows here in San Diego. So what's going on in Nashville that <laughs> you're, you're, there, you're gifting them with your talent? <laughs> Well, lately, uh, we've, we've, I've done things like Today in Nashville, um, and that was really great. I've met some amazing people there. Um, and there's, there's also Kelly uh, and I and the kids have been doing commercials, actually. We've been doing, like, I just did a commercial for Mitsubishi. Um, wow. We did a commercial for uh, Tractor Supply. We've done commercials for First Tennessee Bank. We've done a lot of family real fun like projects that kind of just really came out of nowhere really to be honest with you and so those have been occupying some time here in nashville um mostly in nashville has been a lot of uh streaming and online type of different uh, smaller local um up and coming artists that are on like their different um for instance there's something called undiscovered nashville um, I was on Undiscovered Nashville just recently, um, but there's just all kind of different platforms you can get on out here. And then there's also just just being in the rounds. I've been in so many rounds here and met wow. so many wonderful writers. It's really amazing. Well, we, we really miss you here, Stephen, you know, oh. because, you know, when you play your music here, I mean, D definitely there's a lot of people always, uh, you know, uh, wanting to hear your songs. And uh, I'm sure Nashville is so happy to have you there. <laughs> I, I wanted to ask you, what is your uh, vision in terms of your career now? I mean, I mean, it seems like you've already reached a lot of um, things in life, but what do you still have uh, that you wanted to accomplish in your music uh, career? Well, I think that <clears throat> more than anything, I've already, I feel like I've, I've learned how to play the guitar pretty well. So <laughs> I'm not going to stop trying to get better. I'm always going to try to try to up, one up myself when I sing. But it's it's more so about um, the message that I want to portray from here on out as an artist. And I feel like, you know, uh, the, the, ti the times that we live in, um, there's there. I'm sure there were times in the past that people felt like, oh, my goodness, you know, the world's coming to an end or there's wars and there's famine and there's there's uh, destruction. But I think the difference between the time that we live in and maybe even biblical times is that we have technology that they didn't have back then. And so, you know, we could be streaming like this and you're in San Diego and I'm in Nashville and you're 3000 miles away and we could be on a Zoom call. And uh this is all technology that we are just, I think we're starting to digest and it's starting to maybe, um, it, it, it's really hyper, like makes you hyper aware of everything that's going on in the world, maybe too much, if that makes sense. So, okay. uh, and, and so my thought is I want to push out a lot of sort of really good messages to, um, to families that um, are maybe struggling or going through a tough time and want to, uh, you know, want to hear music that is positive and uplifting. And um, that's really, I mean, honestly, every day I get up, I just say, Lord, what are you going to have me do today? And, uh, and normally he puts something really interesting in front of my path. Um, and so uh, I just, I just learned to trust God with everything I ha have, you know, have faith and, and really not try to say, well, gosh, I got to win 18 Grammys or, you know, have 17 buses or, you know, play the Super Bowl halftime or, you know, 50 billion streams on Spotify. I mean, those are great accomplishments and those are amazing. And, and you know, there's really a very small fraction and in, infinitely small amount of people in the world that get to experience those type of uh, those type of things. 
But uh, if, if you just point, I feel like if you just have your head in the right place, your heart in the right place, you're going to do more than you've ever thought or imagined, really. I see. Now, is there any upcoming events for you right now? Well, yeah. Um, <clears throat> tomorrow night, I'm playing in a place called Cool Springs. And um, then, then I'm going to be heading out to Texas to play uh, for a Valentine's Day event. Um, I'm going to be probably launching a tour through uh, Arkansas and, um, and into Texas uh, relatively soon. And I'm also going to be releasing a brand new single that I'm excited about. Really wow, excited. Wow, tell about us, this. tell us. What, did it, what is it? Oh, my gosh. So this single is far. It, I, I will say that out of all the songs I've written and, and performed, <clears throat> this is hands down probably the most special to me at this point um, because it's a song about my daughter and she would come up to me and she would say, Hey daddy, can you come play Barbies with me? Can you come outside and ride bikes with me? Can you come play, you know, Monopoly with me? And, and I would just be really busy a lot of the times trying to work and, you know, keep my career going. And, um, you know, and so I'd say, I can't right now. She go, well, can you later? And I said, yes. So she goes, do you pinky promise? And I said, yes, I pinky promise. And she goes, well, you can't break a pinky promise. So there's this back and forth exchange going on between me and my nine year old daughter or eight year old daughter at the time. And for, for men out there who have daughters, this song is going, it's already, it, it crushes you. It crushes your heart because um, I've, I've sang it out and I see grown men crying and then their wife cries because they're crying. And it's just this like amazing moment. And, uh, so I really it's it's a song that I'm going to release on February the 17th called Pinky Promise and um, it was produced here in Nashville by Ilya Tashinsky and uh, he's just an amazing producer here uh, but I've I've got um, I've got that release date set because that is actually our wedding date February the 17th is the day that we got married wow and I thought, that's so beautiful <laughs> yeah so I thought how, how fitting would it be to release a song that is going to be used at weddings indefinitely on my wedding date. Oh my so that gosh. I would remember that always like that. So um, it's, uh, it's very, I'm very excited about it. No one has heard it recorded yet, but I've played it out in a couple of rounds and, and, and here and there. So it's, it's not even really been released yet. So I'm excited. Well, let me ask you a favor. I mean, is it, <laughs> Is there a way that you can play a little bit right now? <laughs> <laughs> because I can't wait to hear you. <laughs> you <play. laughs> and that well, is yeah. all I you. <laughs> well, that's what, yeah, that I, I'd, I'd be happy to play that song, actually. Um, <laughs> and I just, I just happen to have a guitar in my lap. I don't know how. I, know. I, <laughs> I, I played <laughs> What do you know? <laughs> Let me do this. I'm going to put you on a, there you go. <laughs> All right. I'm going right. to get this. I'll play, I'll play a, a verse and a chorus for you so that you can get the gist of it. And uh, here we go. Seems just like yesterday when I was holding your little sweet hand Wasn't gonna miss the chance to take you To our first daddy-daughter dance I've shown up late, I've missed some dates Along the way I've made mistakes I even made your little heart break But you love me anyway I'm just learning as I go It's hard to admit when I don't know When it's right when it's wrong maybe it's taken me a little too long but i'm here to tell you now i never ever want to let you down i'll keep my word cross my heart and when you wish upon a star i'll always be the dad you can trust when you need someone who is honest and keep every pinky promise. <laughs> oh my God, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Steven. Yeah.
Oh, very, I, very well, exciting. I, I really feel that you should be always on television and just, you know, <laughs> inspiring people. <laughs> I can't wait to see that happen for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm, I'm thankful that you take the time and, uh, and obviously interview a lot of business people. I know you have a lot of uh, network, and I'm just thankful to to be here with you today, Marie. Honestly, well, you you pretty much blessed us. I mean, you know, I definitely once I uh, once people see this uh, video, they're gonna you're gonna make their day so beautiful <laughs> and inspiring. And I I'm so thankful for this, uh, Stephen. You know, I'm hoping that we can also bring you back in. But um, <laughs> I am very very appreciative of your time. And uh, maybe next time, uh, you know, I can interview you on a national TV yeah. show because that is really what I would like to Absolutely. see happen. And uh, so incredible. Um, send my regards to your family, especially Kelly. You know, I uh, I remember her being on our fashion show so, so many times. And, you yes. know, she's such a beautiful person. And, <laughs> you know, your family, your entire family is amazing. And I'm sure a lot of people from San Diego miss you so much. Um, you know, we Listen. were a part of our life here in San Diego and really given us so many things to look forward to in life. Your love stories are incredible. I, I swear, I, I wish I could find someone like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know what? You keep, keep hope alive. I'm sure that um, God has somebody for everyone. I believe, I really believe that. Yeah. So. And yeah. thank you for the love that you have for God. I mean, I, I truly, truly love that too about you. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to let you go. And again, thank you so much for your time. And to all of you out there, definitely make sure you go and get um, uh, his music. Where can they go to get the music, by the way, Stephen? Thank you for asking that. So right now I have a, um, a TikTok account, Stephen Cade. So okay. go check me out on TikTok. And I also have my website, stephenk.com. That's Stephen with the V, K with the C, just like behind me here. Okay. And, um, and I have a, a store there where you can pick up my music. I also have links where you can find me to all of my socials, like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And, um, and I would just love to stay in touch with, with anybody who's been able to watch this video. Really, honestly, thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Stephen. Okay. Well, I'm going to say goodbye, everyone. Make sure that you tune into our uh, YouTube account and watch all the interviews. And again, Stephen Cade is an amazing singer. Definitely get his uh, music. And, um, and <coughs> you guys have an amazing, amazing day today. All right.